Now, the High Court has ruled that children under 16 who say they want to change gender are unlikely to be able to give their informed consent to treatment with drugs that block puberty. The case was brought by a young woman who regretted her decision to have treatment and argued that a court order should be needed for children to take the medication. Transgender rights campaigners have criticised the decision and the only NHS clinic to offer the treatment to children says it will appeal against the ruling. Our social affairs correspondent Alison Holt has more details. For Kira Bell emerging from the High Court, this judgment was about decisions made as a teenager that started her on the road to transitioning from female to male. She argued she was too young to understand the impact of that treatment. The court agreed more checks are needed. I'm delighted at the judgment of the court today. It was a judgment that will protect vulnerable people. I wish it had been made for me before I embarked on the devastating experiment of puberty blockers. At 16, Kira was desperate to be a boy. She was given drugs to delay puberty, then male hormones. Clinicians say for some children this is the right move, but Kira believes it was a mistake for her. The discussions were very brief and there was no real investigation into why I had gender dysphoric feelings and how I got to that stage. And I spoke briefly of depression and anxiety, um, but again it was kind of assumed by everyone that transitioning would, would alleviate that. Her case was against the Tavistock, the UK's only gender identity clinic for children. It argued that puberty blocking drugs are only prescribed if a child can give informed consent. But today's judgment ruled it was doubtful a child under 16 could really understand the long term implications. And for 16 and 17 year olds, the courts may also need to be involved. This mother, who wants to remain anonymous, was also involved in bringing the action. Her daughter, who has autism, is on the clinic's waiting list. And the long-term effects of puberty blockers, they're not really known. They're given for extended period of time at a time when your developing body needs to be exposed to hormones. It doesn't just halt the physical development, it halts the psychological, social and emotional development of a child. In a statement, the Tavistock says the trust is disappointed by today's judgment and we understand that the outcome is likely to cause anxiety for patients and their families. It continues, we are working to provide support for patients concerned about the impact on their care. It's a very important issue and I'm happy to be here. And 18-year-old Sonia calls the judgment disheartening and wrong. She says young people who want to transition like her already face long waits for specialist help. It's taking more than two, three years just to get a first appointment. And that's before you even get to the prospects of discuss discussing hormone replacement therapy and puberty blockers. And it take uh, for me personally, it took a huge toll on my mental health because I couldn't see light at the end of the tunnel. I, I had no hope. Whilst it's considering the implications of today's judgment, the Tavistock says it's suspending all new referrals of under-16s for drug treatments. Alison Holt, BBC News.